He doesn't even matter if he has limit. If he trades with Cyclone, he's gonna die. Oh, oh and there. Man. See, what did I tell you? And dude? that didn't even burn the limit. That was just straight death. Yeah. Hit stun all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, that just goes. That just shows me that Javi's not really sure how he should be like approaching the edge guards like off stage against Elegant, because that was just a really early trade. But there's a good neutral there. Uh, Elegant still has jump. Yeah, he has a good mash. Let's see what he does at the edge here, though. Yep, safe pressure. Luigi can't really do much oh, about misfire, that. And though. that misfire could have been bad for Elegant, but wow. He fought his way back on stage. Yeah, and on stage, Cloud can do a really good job of keeping Luigi out. He has the disjoint, probably the biggest disjoint in the game. So, it, it, it is difficult for Luigi to get in and get these grabs, but Elegant's still holding on at 155. Yeah, the thing is, Elegant also knows that the only way he's gonna get in against this character is if he consistently power shields, and he's pretty much just like power shielding everything. Right. I feel like uh, any Luigi main are gonna be like above average on the power shielding department. You have to, or else you don't get punishes that any other character would get just because right. it's attraction. And I, I've seen Kong Kong so confident in his power shields, he'll like power shield buffer smash at that. Yeah. That's how like confident these Luigi are as a power shield. You have to be. But uh, Javi's not necessarily out of this yet. Depending on how he DI's this. Ooh. Hey, gets the reversal though. Javi in a really good spot now. Oh, uh, not this not safe up there. He wanted to get the cross up on shield, but Elegant kinda saw through that. And oh yeah, that's Ooh. rough. It's scary to go for that high recovery against Elegant because he knows that uh, he can do this. Ooh, he did. He Norm the power normally, yeah, normally he just gets the shield on the slide or the second. Slash and he just jabs them out before they can even touch the ledge and they just die. And if they don't have jump or limit, they're dead. Yeah, yeah. But good answer there anyway. Uh, it's crazy too because you didn't really see elegant. You uh, up smash is just something the plumbers use a lot. This is a generally very good tool, and you didn't really see elegant use it till that second stop, and he used it to close it out. So yeah, it's scary too because. Clouds went at Dare, but then Luigi has like an invincible up smash, so he just sees that and he's like, oh, quit, whatever, I'm just gonna up smash you if you jump right there. And he's tall, he's the tallest out of all the plumbers, so yeah. it definitely goes up the highest. It's rough. Alright, so obviously gonna go Sheik is like other really strong character and another character that does well in this matchup. But again, uh, I don't know, if you're not experienced, Elegant can destroy uh, Sheik pretty pretty hard. Yeah, but I do feel like if you're not experienced, um, for Javi's point of view, Sheik is the answer here. Just because it's a, a lot harder to, you know, Cyclone game Sheik than it is Cloud. Yeah. Yeah, I also saw it too, even versus uh, Mr. R at Evo with the 2-0 uh, Elegant. I mean, just, Mr. R is an amazing Sheik player, but he just doesn't have the type of experience that Elegant does in this matchup. Like, Elegant going week after week against, like, K9 and Void Sheik. <laughs> Right, like, like some time. of the best sheets in the world constantly having that practice. Yeah. It definitely does play, play um, It plays to his favor, for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. But Javi's doing a good job at actually playing the matchup, which basically makes sure Luigi can't really abuse his grab game. Yeah, Sheik has a great uh, forward air, great needles. Yeah, Sheik has all the tools to keep Luigi away. It's more so, can you close the stock out? Yeah. Javi says yes. Yeah, nice and air bouncing fish. Good hit, confirm that. Yeah, and it's just, um, you have all the tools to keep him out, but it's just, when he gets in, he can just do a lot of work. Way too much damage. Way She's incredibly light, too. It's like a test of, like, how clean can your neutral be for, like, an extended period of time. Yeah. 
But Mexico, known for just being this really good region, very patient region, they, they do take their time. And I mean, you, do, you have to in this, like, this matchup or this game in general. Yeah. I like the bouncing fish cancel to get to the platform. Got to charge needles and regain uh, some control. But no, that was the way on the jump. Okay, but Elegant kept his jump. Yeah. Poppy did tack on some good damage there. Though. Oh, yeah. He's looking so much cleaner with the Sheik in this matchup. Like, the edge guards are more on point. He's controlling the stage. He's not letting Elegant get as many hard punishes. I feel like it's a lot easier for him to keep Elegant out when he has a burst option that's a lot faster. Like Cloud, you don't have that instant burst option except maybe like up air that comes out way later than like cheek air. So. Yeah, and the way Elegant plays around that left air is just he punches it really hard if he sees it coming. Right, exactly. So now Javi, Javi has a character that can just burst him out like, oh, you're next to me, like, let me just, just throw out a hitbox now. Yes. Cloud, you have to like position, use your air mobility, position correctly, and wow. Yeah, that was uh, pretty early. Damn, that was but a very early Again, really good positioning from Javi. I like those cross-up back airs. He got a lot of power shields. He wasn't really throwing as many just wild hitboxes without like a purpose. So, yeah, Sheik's definitely the move. Yeah, definitely, definitely look more comfortable for this matchup, or maybe a matchup he might not be as comfortable with. Maybe Sheik's just the more go-to character for him. Yeah. And even like his edge guards, he wasn't like totally obliterating Elegant off stage, but he was tacking on some damage, which is really good. And he got back and got his stage control. Yeah. So just, just like you said, very like way cleaner match from Hobby's end. Yeah, it's good that he was able to play this well without like being super, super practicing the matchup, because he's not even doing like. Like Sheik, like specific Luigi Killer things that Sheik does, but he's still doing really, really well in the matchup. Yeah, and you can just see his fundamentals, just like how well he's holding on to his stocks, how like how well he's facing. Just keeping Luigi out, the game plan is pretty simple. You just don't fight it. <laughs> oh, y'all watch this though. Okay, elegant ledge for pressure. Uh oh. Oh, good DI in right there from Hobby. Yeah, does honestly, not want to be all yeah, yeah, I'll definitely take a back air and <laughs> Instead of like a down air psycho. Yeah, you, you definitely don't want to get the elegant flush. Alright, elegant's looking to play a little bit more aggressive this time. Ooh, I like the idea there. Try to see if he can snipe the top of the cyclone with the needles. But the mix up from elegant on his cyclone is very smart. Alright, getting the bounce fish cast on the platform. I really like that. Yeah, that, that platform really relieved a lot of pressure right there. For Hobby. Yeah, instead of just having to be like stuck on the ledge trying to deal with whatever he's throwing out, you can go to the platform and uh, not going to go for the high cyclone. Might be trying to bait out uh, the defensive option from Hobby. Again, really good cyclone. He didn't go above the stage, so Hobby couldn't really commit and stay on stage for punish, but that one again. Yeah, good recognition from Hobby to know that who has a lot of lag, <laughs> so if you waste it out, you can punish, but. Elegant letting Hobby know that he's not afraid to do down B four Ooh. times in a row, and the up smash will take it. Yeah, he stayed directly under him too. He's like, I'm just gonna chase his Bowser Fist because I played enough Sheiks to know you want to retreat with this move. Yeah. So really good anti-air there for Elegant to get the first stock, and now things are gonna change a little bit. I think unless Hobby can get this stock, he's not gonna die to the cross up there. Good DI there from Elegant. Yeah, right now Elegant's in a really good spot. Even though it's down, he can still die. But if he just tacks on some rage on the Sheik, he doesn't really have to worry about any of the setups of 50-50s, but... Right. Another narrow bouncing fish. Javi finds the setup at, on the ledge trap. He's gonna take the stock. Very even game now. Yeah. Oh, he okay. caught... He did a roll-in after hitting oh, the fair. No, and yeah, so, he took so oh much just for that roll. I'm not sure what... Uh, he was going for there. I, I'm pretty sure Javi just didn't want to be cornered there. But then, in the end, since he rolled out, he got hit with such a devastating Yeah, punish. and like the roll was odd because he actually got a forward air. Instead of just going for like a grab, he rolled. I want to say as a miss input that cost him like ridiculous amount of percent. Maybe yeah. even this game right now. Yeah, because now Elegant has such a lead. Um, Hobby's in a position where he's going to have to approach and eventually try to close this gap here. Yeah. But Elegant just relentless. Keep tacking on this damage. Yeah, it's, it's rough when Elegant gets like a lead like this. He's able to play super aggressive. Oh, he's no. very suffocating. Yeah, and Elegant is definitely a player that when he gets momentum, he can keep it rolling. He's really good at that. Yeah. Not going to kill quite yet. Back to from center stage, but Hobby in a real pickle right now. 145%. Okay, he's gonna choose the platform again. See if he can establish some type of stage control with Elegant. It's like right next to him. Oh, oh my goodness, he caught man. off the back dash too. It's 
so good. Like, Elegant is not really over committing, but he's just slowly pressuring them out yeah. on the outskirts. Wow. And, and the, the misfire, misfire too. <laughs> just the, the slow motion. <laughs> fire, man. Bang, bang. Cinematic, man. Damn. Yeah, it's scary, dude. It's scary when Elegant just uh, corners you like that, because then you're, you're chic, and you're like, you don't want to overextend because you know the moment you trade, it's just going to be all bad. Right. So you have to pick your spot super carefully, but then while you're doing that, he's literally just chasing you down the whole time before you even get a chance to set up like anything really. Yeah, Elegant just did a really good job of not giving him the stage control back, and like half of, or not more than half of Luigi's moves are gonna kill Sheik at 145. So there was so much hobby at the avoid there. Already, oh yeah, Elegant. 84. percent That was Patty on the back there too. Like Elegant literally just started the match off with one grab and he just. Kept oh, it going. Man, he wanted it so bad right there. Javi doing a really good job not giving him any air dodge or anything to react to. Alright, he needs to make this count. Wow, just the raw cyclone. He's saying, nope, no pressure at all. Did you just put me in disadvantage? Nah, oh, but Javi. Okay, he's still going on this edge guard. Doesn't oh, quite okay. get it. That was a good answer from Elga. He didn't get the Cyclone again, but he got the high uh, Cyclone just to pop the top recovery and up smash out of shield. That Only took 35. Percent. A little too unsafe there. Javi gonna eat a stock for it. Yeah, it's crazy because you actually, to use safe fares on Elegant, you have to do max range, even if they're not hitting, because sometimes it's just, you're too at risk for, to trade. Or Elegant. just getting like out of shield punish. Yeah. Elegant is so good at just reacting to the DI. Even if like he fares you and like he gets sent backwards, he's already like setting up the bear. Yeah. He's so good at his conversion. Yep, that's what makes him uh, the best Luigi. It only takes one touch. Yeah, and with a with a character like Luigi where it can be very difficult to get that one touch, you gotta make it count when you get it. Yep. Especially in this matchup. Which uh, Elegant is showing that he again has so much practice in. There goes the double jab. <laughs> You don't want to do that, Sheik, man. He <laughs> just throws that Nair out immediately, unless you're baiting out the Nair. Okay, can Hobby close it out? Uh, he's going to go back to the ledge here. Down. Wow, this stall was so smart. Yeah, he, Hobby was already positioning himself to get the dare in case he, like, to immediately snap, and then Elegant knew that, so he just stalled with the side B at the ledge. He messed up his timing completely. Doesn't nope. die, though, even with the 100 rage. On yeah, that's, that's unfortunate for Hobby. Javi is just, he's really trying to close out this stock right now. He but doesn't know how to edge guard him. So and he got tricks. the platform too. Oh, no. oh my but God. Then, And then he finally gets it and he gets the side beat input error instead of the bouncing fish. But no tech. Right, we'll take oh. it. All right. And Javi, with the reverse needles, is going to get that stage fight. All right. So let's see if Javi. Nope, this is a moment of truth, man. All right. Call the jump. Oh, good air dodge from Javi there. All right, this is great stuff. Oh, Good damage, and he has the edge position. Oh, he was a little too <laughs> late, or too early. He just had to wait out that Cyclone. Yeah, beautiful string by Javi. It can be difficult to string Luigi because of that Frank Green Air and his, like, uh, at the like, weight, but there it is. Up smash. Again, unsafe forward air. Got crossed up with turnaround, up smash. Bang, bang. Got the, the, the easy whiff punish.